Vinnie Born training. Today we're going to be using our multi-lac paint and we're going to be spraying some kitchen doors. This is a, a popular finish on, um, on various types of furniture. This is interesting because it has a metal piece on the end. So with the one product, the multi-lac, we don't need to use different products or specialized primers. The one paint will do both. We have a selection of our degreaser, um, masking, everything we need to complete this task. It can be applied by paintbrush or by roller, but today we're actually going to be spraying it. Okay, what I recommend is you would degrease it first without sanding. A lot of people would sand the surface down first, then degrease it, and then paint it. I recommend you degrease it first, then sand it, degrease it again. And the reason for that is, being a kitchen door, there's probably going to be a lot of um, greases and oils and different things on the surface. If you just jump straight in and sand it, there's a chance you're going to push that further down into the substrate, into the, into the finish itself. So when you come around to your spray painting or your painting end of things, you may start to see little reactions in the surface where grease or dirt has started to come out again. So to avoid that, I recommend that you degrease it first and then sand it. For convenience, I'm using an aerosol can. It's also available in a liquid form. This is a degreaser. I'm using a blade because on this, there's some glue and adhesive which I just want to remove. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, abrase the surface. I'm using a grey scotch pad, which is fine. I don't want to use that in too aggressive or too coarse because at the end of the day, when, when I finish painting, I don't want to see little paper marks coming through or any scratches on the surface. Okay, so now we've, we've prepped the surface, so we're ready to move on to my next stage, which is the painting stage. So, as I said before, this can be applied by paintbrush and roller. Today I'm going to be using a spray gun for using it. Also, as Ward mentioned, uh, a tack cloth. I'm going to use one of these just before I start painting. All it is is a cloth that's impregnated with a glue, and it's designed then just to pick up any, any dust that may have just landed on the surface after you've cleaned it. When you finish your tack cloth, always pop it back into the bag, keep it nice and clean. Now we'll move on to the painting process. I've tinned out the paint. I've had to add 10% water into the paint. It's given me a viscosity reading of around 20 seconds. You know, As I said before in other videos, that varies. So you need to check, you need to get used to the actual thickness of the paint. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the spray gun up uh, before we actually start painting. Okay, I've just been setting up the spray gun. So, for the edge of the, the cupboard door, I want a nice narrow band. And then for the, for the bigger area, the flat area, I want a, a much wider fan. Okay, so we've uh, put one full coat onto it. I would always recommend at least two coats. With some colours they can be translucent, that's a translucent colour, but it's going on to a white background. If that same colour is going on to a dark blue or a, a green or a yellow, you, you may see that colour grinning through, so you may need to give it additional coats. I would normally leave that for about an hour um, to let it dry. I'll come along 
and give it a second coat then. Okay, that's grand. Um, I've given it two full coats, which I'm happy enough with. I've, I've got good coverage on it. Um, it took about an hour to dry. It's, uh, I'm indoors, so it's reasonably warm in here, and I was able to give it a second coat then. And I'm, I'm very happy with the finish. If you have any further questions, please contact an advisor at vinnieborn.com or alternatively email sales at vinnieborn.com.